about the subaltern or their thinking from that kind of a framework. You know, I mean, if you extend this argument, then nothing can be written but autobiographies. Yeah. You know? Because uh, uh, it's always external, whatever you write on. And nothing can be written without a normative framework. So normative framework probably is the only constant. But the problem, uh, you know, reading, I, as I said before, that I did not have the chance to read this book thoroughly. But I flipped through. And uh, I'd just like to conclude this uh, wonderful session. It was wonderful, stimulating. Both the questions uh, which were raised by the discussion, often of which uh, uh, responded by the author, and also the questions which came from my colleagues here. You know, your the author refused to get blown. Colleagues, as he pointed out, that on students are all flag. So we are all under the same flag now. So uh, next see, time, Ajay and us will be better before. <laughs> <laughs> you see, certain uh, this book has to be read because it is not about um, all different kinds of demarcations and binaries. It is about, uh, I mean, tension-prone interactions, uh, all kinds of skirmishes between oppositional ideas, and that's the beauty of the book. And I think that written something from the ground level, uh, you get a real uh, microscopic picture of how the political behaves uh, in different localities. And, and that, uh, I think, is one of the most important contributions of the book. Now, uh, I will just point out three such tension areas which I found uh, rewarding, and one can really think of those things later on as well. You know, I mean, for instance, uh, concepts like equality before law came through colonialism. Right? We didn't have any governance which, uh, uh, I mean, gave dignity to this idea of equality before law. So equality before law is can be theoretically a disinterested idea to be cherished, but at the same time it came on the back of capital and that too colonial capital. So it had a particular interest, and that's the problem with many of the liberal ideas that at one level, theoretically, they can be innocuous, disinterested, intellectually uh, uh, um, extremely important, but another level, at the level of practice, they are never divorced from power. Right. So as social scientists, as scientists is a very, I mean, uh, loaded term, as, as students of society or politics, one has to really unravel the problematic that lies between these two. There's another tension that is a tension between, say, what you might call solidarities for democratic collectives, because no democracy can function without solidarity, and solidarities that thrive on enemizing the other. So the moment you solidify any solidarity, there is always a possibility, and actually it happens, exclusion. So, I mean, you can't include without exclusion. That, that's another, another tension which I found extremely, and, and that too comes, uh, uh, you know, in the very idea of the local cultural elements amenable to Hindutva project. Because it is, Hindutva doesn't come as external. There are elements which are amenable to Hindutva's project, in the locality itself. Mm -hmm. And that that actually prevents the book from glamorizing or idealizing locality. You know? Locality is not something uh, that you consider as ideal type. You know? I mean, it's also evolving, and it has all kinds of elements, as we know, that uh, inequality is something which also persists in, in, in localities. Gender inequality is one of them. Uh, then the other tension I found in the book is Samaj as an ethical solidarity versus Samaj as an instrument for competition, for rivalry, 
for anxieties, uh, you know, for jealousy and so on and so forth. And, and, and that, that comes across uh, in this uh, multiple identities that he talks about uh, among the Gujars and this fight for state resources. And that's, that's uh, something which is extremely vital uh, because this is an anthropology at one level of the state at the micro level. You know? So this is, these are some of the tension areas which I think is uh, uh, some of the most important contributions of the book. So I, uh, I myself will read the book again thoroughly and I will ask my students and colleagues here to, to read the book. So thank you all very, very much.